ARK Invest came out and said that by the year of 2027, Tesla stock's going to be worth 2,000 bucks per share. That deserves a sheesh. I guess it's fair if Tesla stock goes 2,000 bucks per share by 2027, you know, personally, I'm going all in with Tesla stock. So by 2027, I shall be a multi-millionaire. And same with you guys, because apparently you guys are going all in with Tesla stock as well. But we need to go back to reality. And in my personal opinion, 2000 bucks per share by 2027 is about four times more than my own prediction by 2027. So definitely a sheesh moment, but let's get into it on why they believe by 2027, stock's gonna be worth 2000 bucks per share. I mean, obviously I don't think that's going to happen, but I do welcome it. So if you guys are ready to get down to this juicy video, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. So guys, 2000 bucks per share by 2027 is the base case. So they also have a bear case and a bull case here. The bear case is 1400 bucks per share, which is still pretty high in my opinion. And the bull case, get ready, 2500 bucks per share. That's crazy, but we're gonna get into it. We're gonna see how they got these numbers, break it down for the bear base and bull case. So let's start off with the bear case first. Ark is saying that vehicles sold by 2027 in the bear case is 10.3 million vehicles at the average selling price of 34,000. Makes sense, right? If you wanna sell volume, Price has got to be cheaper. Overall, if you multiply the vehicle sold by the average selling price, you get $346 billion. Makes sense so far. Then we get the human driven ride haul revenue, $54 billion. I mean, let's see what's going to happen by 2027. I mean, we still don't know how this is going to play out, although ARC is looking pretty far in the future and seeing how this could play out. But uh, $54 billion in revenue, I'm not too sure. I mean, I can't predict that because I don't know how it's going to look like. But if you add it to your valuation, then I mean, if you, if you add this to your valuation and this actually becomes true and they actually perform this much, then Tesla stock right now is extremely cheap. I mean, it's already cheap, but if you add this, it's extremely cheap like literally like a buck to a thousand just extremely cheap but let's move on to the autonomous ride haul revenue around 200 billion dollars by 2027 so this is the robo taxi but nonetheless 200 billion in revenue by 2027 that means things should be up and running literally starting next year and ramping so crazy and just intensely fast to reach 200 billion I don't know, it's pretty interesting to me. Moving on to electric vehicle gross margins, 34%, excluding credits. Then you got the total gross margin at 51%. So this would include everything, the ride hall, vehicle, everything, everything at a 51 gross margin percent, which in 2022 was 26. So they're saying almost a double in the bear case. That is insane. The market cap, get, get ready, market cap, $4.4 trillion and a stock price of 1400 bucks per share. Sheesh moment right there. Let's go see how they got the 1400 bucks per share and let's break it down all right if you guys are ready smash that like button so here's a bear case i made it very easy very simple as you guys can see vehicle sold 10.3 million ride haul 54 billion 200 billion for the autonomous robo taxi average selling price of 33,595 to be exact but gets rounded up to 33.6 then we get the total vehicle revenue of 346 billion dollars makes sense so far total revenue of 600 billion then we got the total gross margin of 51 percent which you would get over 306 billion in the income which is absolutely insane but we need to find the net income because that's what's more important that's what's going to show us the stock price as you guys can see here 1399 or 1400 bucks with a market cap of 4.4 trillion dollars the question is what did they put this as an operating margin to get these numbers the operating margin that i came up with to figure out how they got this number is is 17.9 percent which makes sense you know if they can do the robo taxi and the ride hall and all these robotics things in the future then it's mainly it's profit man i mean right now the moment robo taxi fsd it's about 50 to 60 percent profit for tesla so if they can maximize on that and make it a much bigger business than the actual vehicle business of tesla then you're looking at a very high margin business and 17.9, I argue this is pretty low. But again, the question comes, can they do the robot taxi and the ride haul by 2027? We gotta wait and see for that. But giving this a 17.9 operating margin and net income, you would get about $107 billion by 2027. That's absolutely in flipping insane. That is a 10x from now. A 10x in terms of net income from now. That's crazy. What's even more crazier is the EPS at $33.84. As you guys can see, the shares outstanding has been, this is diluted by the way, 
it's been being bought back. And I think that's what Tesla, that's what ARK is doing in their valuation. They're saying that they're going to buy back about 1.8% from 2026. Now I'm going to expand this to see, to have a better picture, a bigger, much better picture. But it's insane though. To get this 1,399 or 4.4 trillion needs to be over 41. PE of over 41. I mean, if they're growing 30 to 40% in the late 2020s, then a 40 to 50 PE does make sense. But that's crazy. This is how they got the bear cave, which is absolutely and flipping insane. Sheesh. Now let's go back to 2020 all the way till now. Bam. This is how they're going to perform year over year based on ARK's valuation. As you guys can see, they're expecting by 2023, they're going to have one point, almost 2 million vehicles deliveries. Now this could happen. I'm not too sure. Mine is around 1.8, exactly of what Tesla is saying themselves. Actually, a little bit higher than what they're saying, but nonetheless, 2 million and then 3 million in 2024, and then 4.5 million by 2025, 6.8 million by 2026, and 2027, 10.3 million. This is a year over year growth of 51%. That is intense. That is crazy. But if Tesla goes on hyper mode, they can do this. They can absolutely do this. Not too sure about the, you know, the robo taxi revenue and the ride hall revenue. Not too sure about that. We got to wait and see what's going to happen. But I did put here for the rate hall, 2 billion and 15 billion and 30 billion and 54 billion. Don't ask me how I got these numbers. I'm just trying to see how they got 54. And I, you know, they can double, triple. If they have more vehicles on the road, they can easily do this. The numbers will stack up very fast in a very strong exponential growth. Same story with the robot tax revenue from 15 billion to 200 billion. Again, do I think it's possible? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. So let's see what happens in the future. Then we get the average selling price dipping from 50K all the way to 33.6K. Shares outstanding right now diluted is 3.4 billion. And obviously they're saying that if they're going to be doing 4.4 trillion with a, with a price target of 1400, that is a buyback every single year, even including this year, which they're not going to do buyback. They just can't, just, you know, price cut after price cuts and, and expanding with Giga Texas on the way and another mega pack, mega pack factory coming in China. So I don't think it's not realistic to think that a buyback is going to happen this year, even though they said that they will do it regardless if there's a recession or not. I don't think it's going to happen. Now, do I believe they're going to do 10.3 million vehicle deliveries by 2027? Personally, I think by 2027, they're going to do about just over 6 million vehicles. 10.3 million vehicles by 2027 is going to be insane. But I, again, I could be wrong. They could do it. But based on my estimates, and if you include the Gigafactory Mexico, I think it's going to take about 12 to 15 months to be built. So pretty much you can think about the end of 2024 if it starts now so 2025 mass production and they can do about 4 million production on a single year so obviously it is not going to happen in one single year it's going to take time for it to ramp up you know berlin texas shanghai it's taken a while but it could take three years maybe maybe 10.3 million is possible i don't know I don't know. I'm saying just over 6 million. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's move on to the bull case now. So in the bull case, what ARK is saying, they're going to do 20.7 million vehicles sold. That's insane. Pretty much, I mean, Tesla is aiming for 20 million by 2030. ARK is saying, nope, 2027. Sheesh, that's crazy. With an average selling price of 26,000, which does make sense. And then you get an electric vehicle revenue of $528 billion. And 2027, for the bull case, they're not saying, they're saying there's not going to be any human driven ride hail revenue. So it seems like they are very uncertain about this. You know, it's a 50 50 thing. They may do it or they may not. So I don't think ARC is pretty confident in this part. That's why they left it at zero. But in the autonomous ride hall revenue, which is the robo taxi, triple the amount of the bear case to 613 billion i would love to know how they got this number because this is above my wildest dream for at least the year of 2027 then we got the electric vehicle gross margin of 23 percent overall total gross margin of 52 percent ebitda margin of 34 percent with the market cap reaching almost 8 trillion and a share price of 2500 bucks per share that is a sheesh moment. Now let's go to the chart and break this down. So we're using the same chart and all the only thing that's adjusted is the average selling price. Instead of being 26,000, it's more closer to 25 and a half thousand, just to stay precise. Again, look at that total revenue of over $1.1 trillion by 2027 and a total gross margin twice of what it was back in 2022, 52%. And then you get $593 billion, I mean, surpassing half a trillion dollars in net income. This will be insane. This is just, that's cr more than Apple right now. That, 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 that's crazy. Do I believe it? 
No, I don't believe it. Now we need an operating margin here in order to get 2,500 bucks per share and a market cap of eight trillion operating margin of 32%. Again, this would make sense if the robot taxi comes in. If the robot taxi comes in and they have a 52% margin and it has a high margin, because again, it's a SaaS, software as a service, high margin, 50% to 60% and beyond, right? So 32% does make sense in this case. With that, we get a net income of 365 billion. That will give you an EPS of 115 bucks per share. And that would mean you need a PE to get that 8 trillion, 7.9 trillion of 2,500 bucks per share, a PE of just close to 22 PE. Wow. First of all, 20 million vehicles by 2027 is not going to happen. I mean, my prediction is, is by 2032, they're going to reach 20 million, not by, not even by 2030. Arc is saying that, nope, 2027, bull case, 20 million. Now again, this is a low probability, maybe a 10%, 5% probability, but again, this is crazy. Now let's go back and see how they got these numbers in the chart. And bam, as you guys can see, just look at that. In 2026, 12 million vehicles and boom, in just one year in 2027, almost 21 million vehicles. That's just, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. And as you guys can see, Robo Taxi, 50 million, triple the next year, and then double the next year, and then we double again in 2027. Again, I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to make sense of it. It's hard to make sense of it. I just need more data to know how they got these numbers. This is why I wish they knew how they got these numbers. So that's the bear and bull case. Let's find the base case. Because in the base case, they're saying that valuation of 6.1 trillion and a revenue of over just 1 trillion. So let's see how that will look like on the chart. So here's the chart. The only thing I added was energy and insurance, which was pretty interesting because in the bear and bull case, they didn't mention any energy. Energy is going to be a big business of Tesla, but they didn't put it. They, in fact, they're saying that the robo taxis are going to make a much bigger impact, but we don't have any data on that yet. We have data on energy and we can rely on energy, but they didn't add it in their valuation. I'm curious to know why they didn't add it. But anyways, this is the base case. And I did add energy and insurance because if we take a look at the chart over here, they're saying that their revenue, 5% of it from energy storage and 2% from human driven and 2% from insurance. I add them all up together and we get about almost $77 billion in revenue. Mariah right? Hall about $25.5 billion. Now this is still a lot. I'm saying by 2030, they're going to do about almost 15 million vehicles and deliveries. Just saying, you know, in the base case, by 2027, 15 and a half. But nonetheless, average vehicle sold will be around 30,000 per vehicle. Total revenue of 465 billion. Total revenue, if you add everything else to it, is about one point over one trillion, as they said themselves. Gross margin, I took it between you know 50 percent, 51 percent, 52 percent, half that, 51 and a half percent, half a trillion dollars in net income. Sorry, in just income, not in income. To find that income, I put an operating margin of 25 percent. You will get over a quarter of a trillion dollars in net income. Still a big sheesh moment. That will give you an EPS of 80 bucks per share. That's insane. But to get 2,000 bucks per share in a market cap over 6 trillion, that is about a 25 PE, just below 25 PE. Sheesh, that's all I gotta say, man, sheesh. I mean, again, I hope this becomes true, 2,000 per share by 2027. I mean, even the 14, even the bear case, 1,400. By the way, the bear case is my base case by 2030, not by 2027. But even if the bear case comes true at 1,400, Man, I think we're all going to do very well by 2027. But obviously, in my opinion, I think this is very optimistic, extremely optimistic. And I don't think we're going to get these numbers. Because look, ARC is always over optimistic. And the reason why they became right back in 2020, 2021 is because stock market was like flipping on fire. Something that we don't see at the moment because interest rates are high. We're, in, we're going to be in a recession soon. Inflation is high. It is coming down, though. This year is going to get pretty darn ugly because it looks like they're going to continue to raise rates for some stupid reason. But this is why I say ARC or Kathy Wood's projection here for Tesla stock is a little bit unrealistic. Maybe optimistic, very optimistic. Now, this could happen if we go back to a bull market and interest rate slams back down and free money is everywhere again, then yeah, we can probably see 2000 per share or even 1500 bucks per share by 2027. Could happen. I'm not saying it won't. It could happen. Stock market is very volatile, especially in Tesla stock, but anything could happen. That's why you guys need to do your own DD. Take all this with a grain of salt. I know ARK is well known and their, their valuation stocks is very precise and very high quality. 
you could also take them with a grain of salt as well and do your DD. But what really surprised me about ARK's Invest valuation here and their little study here about Tesla stock by 2000, by 2027, is they weren't really focused on energy. In my valuation, energy is a big, big business. Taking Tesla by at least 20, 30% in the next few years as we go forward. You guys can check out this video here, how te Tesla energy can take Tesla stock to new heights in my opinion, my humble opinion. So check it out, you won't be disappointed. Check out some merch and support the channel by becoming a channel member and subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.